Well, it's good. I'm Ambassador Sitega Olisha here and I'm back with another late video for this channel. So you guys, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am excited to have you guys here and it's a pleasure for you to actually be watching my videos and I really do appreciate. In the span of last week and this week, there are new subscribers. So I want to use this time to welcome you guys officially to the channel welcome on board ambassador so thank you for subscribing my name is leonard on your chair felicia and i am so happy to have you here why do i say happy happy like a yoruba woman <laughs> i am very excited to have you on this channel and it's a privilege for you to connect to my channel subscribe and also turn on your post notifications i am excited that you are here so from the title of this video i am going to be talking about trusting in god and how god has been faithful in my life i usually say this every time that god is faithful but sometimes we give testimonies just to like a back up like an affirmative word that okay this is an evidence of what god has done he is actually faithful not just in the words but in his faithfulness in action like the experiential feeling or the experiential knowledge of God that you're experiencing the goodness of God in your life. That's why I give testimonies actually just to affirm that God is good and this is the evidence. Victoria, Minister Victoria Lorenzi says, we have evidence. God can do everything. God is able. God can. God can. We have evidence and He's really merciful and faithful. First of all, I want to thank, I want to use this opportunity to thank those people that prayed for me, bear the messages, the surprises. I was like, wow, God is really faithful, you guys. There are a few birthdays in my life that I can actually recall and it's an unforgettable experience because I received a lot of gifts, a lot surprises and i am in awe of god's goodness in my life i am flabbergasted <laughs> and i appreciate god so much so god has been good god has been faithful grateful to god that he actually made me enter into that new chapter that new day and i was just so grateful and excited and happy and anticipating what god is going to do next in my life and that is it for my birthday and i hope yours will be special and you would actually see that god is mindful of you and he has you in front of his heart not at the back <laughs> he has you always before him and he's really amazing so yeah new subscribers don't forget to hit that share button and share to your friend to go share to another friend to go share to another friend if you subscribe to this channel turn on your post notifications share this video and the last video i made on fear and i feel like sometimes when you preach messages like that he always always comes to try you and he always comes to test whether this word that you have spoken or you have ministered to the lives of people you would also fall a victim to that and during the week that happened and as situations came that put fear in me i was quickly reminded that this is the message i actually preach and knowing that anytime you preach a message it always comes back to test you i was quite prepared for anything and god showed himself mighty faithful merciful in my case and it has been a beautiful one i am grateful so without further ado let's hop right into this Our anchor scripture for this talk today is a scripture that we all know and in my primary school this is a scripture that we literally use as poem and also Psalm 1 verse 1 to 6 
we usually use those scriptures as poem just for our growth spiritually and the build up of our roots and our anchor for today's message is proverbs 3 verse 5 it says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding the bible makes us to understand that if you lean on your understanding you would not trust god because your understanding may fail you but the fact that the scripture is saying trust in god even though god has given you an understanding put that understanding aside god's ways are higher than your ways in all your ways acknowledge him because he knows that is a going to be very very taxi thing for you to do because acknowledging God in all your ways is quite difficult it sounds very easy but it's quite difficult believe you me because sometimes we are carried away with so much there's so much going on in the world today there are a lot of distractions out there I fall victim to it everyone falls victim to it and you might not know that you are not even acknowledging God when a blessing comes because you are so carried away by that particular blessing and we think we are acknowledging God and putting him in all of our affairs but we aren't actually acknowledging him if you get what I'm saying so the Bible encourages us to trust in him with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him if there are criterias for these things and then he will make your path straight there were three conditions in making path straight and once you miss out on one of those conditions that path will not be straight because it is only when these three conditions are met god is a very intelligent god so you cannot follow your own conditions and expect that he will make path straight for you and this is all summed up in the trust process this all builds up our trust process the bible says trust in me with all your heart one lean not on your own understanding is a full package of trust in all your ways acknowledge him it's only when you trust somebody that you acknowledge the person and then god shows up now in the situation or in the equation and then he will make your path straight First of all, you have to trust God, acknowledge Him, and you would lean not on your own understanding for the trust package to be in full. And in this message, I'm going to be talking about waiting. My, my father in the Lord always tell me that waiting is the most difficult, is the most difficult process of a believer because even when you are somewhere, you, are, you go to a restaurant and you are asked to wait. In one of my videos, I went to get burger in one of the seven days of bliss. I went to get burger and I was asked to wait for 45 minutes. And I was already drained in those 45 minutes. My tired was tired. And something within me kept saying that, look at how I'm waiting for burger. Just something to eat. And I'm waiting. And... The burger don't just come about. They will have to slice the vegetables. They will have to pieces the chicken. They will have to put cream. They will have to... All those things they are doing in those 45 minutes is taking time to bring out the burger you see. To bring out that beautiful creature called burger. So everything takes time. And anything that you want to last, that's what my mentor will always tell me. Anything you want to last, it will take time. And I feel like the world we are now is an indomi generation, like my pastor will say. Indomi generation, put it on the fire and it's already cooked. And nobody wants to wait for anything. And I tell you, in the process of waiting, there are a lot of things that are going on behind closed doors. There are a lot of things that are going on in the fire. There's something cooking up in that fire. There is something cooking. God is cooking up something and he's taking his time to bring out the best out of that thing. Like I, I, I explained to you guys the burger story just a few seconds ago. They are not just sitting and they are telling you to wait. They are actually preparing the burger. So anything you want to see beautiful in your life will always have to go through waiting period. And if you understand the waiting seasons of your life, everything will fall in place accordingly how 
God has planned it. And that is why God's plans would always be different from our plans. Because when you align yourself to the will of God, everything will be fine with you. Most of the times we go out of the will of God and we know we are out of the will of God. You just know that you are out of the will of God. That this one that you are doing is not trusting God. The package is not full. You get the package is not full and somehow somehow the mercy of god traces us back do not always wait for the mercy of god to trace to help you to come back to how you are supposed to be although we cannot live without the mercy of god but the bible says wisdom is profitable to direct be wise as serpent and gentle as dove i feel like the gentleness part of that scripture talks about being humble calm down being gentle Take things easily. Take life a step at a time. Take life step at a time. Take life step at a time. I am a living testimony of waiting. Yeah, I'm a living testimony of waiting. And I assure you that during that period of waiting, God is growing things. You will not know. Kai, God is faithful. During the period of waiting, God is actually building things in you. Until that blessing comes, you will not like get the whole gist and i feel like it is worth it not i feel like it is actually worth it because god is streaming he's cutting out the weed with the weeds he's building a new mindset he's breaking something he's breaking pride he's breaking anything that is going to make you not seek him anymore he's doing a lot of work behind scenes and when that blessing comes you're looking at the blessing and you'll be like is this what i was waiting for all my life why am i why am i so humble about it why am i you will not see these things are spiritual god is building something out of you waiting is what it when 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 i listen to people um story on, ma- on marriages and the title the theme of the the whole talk will be it is what the weight i know what they are talking about like even though i'm not married in regards to the blessings of god that he brings to me i can actually relate to that situation because waiting especially when you are waiting on the will of god is actually worth it because when you are in the calendar of god you know that something good is going to come out my pastor will always say do not always be praying, oh, I want good. God knows your heart desires. You want a handsome man. You want this. You, you want you want love. You want someone to have money. But I'm telling you, when you're in the will of God, God will make everything perfect for you. You are not praying for handsome man, no, but in that perfectness, that, that whole package of being in the will of God, God will even bring somebody that will be handsome for you. Tall, six packs and everything. Even though that's not a prayer point, but... You know, people pray those things these days for six pack and everything and <laughs> talk. What will we do? God will always grant you the desires of your heart. All I'm trying to say is that God brings in full packages. He's the only one that gives and adds no sorrow. So when you trust him, you know you're not trusting any man somewhere. You know you're not just trusting a a machine or a device that has been created by a human that is liable to fail. That's what they teach us in school these days in material science. That you, you you build bridges and the cracks, anything that happens and it cracks like this is catastrophic. And you see failure. Even though they got the most intelligent person to actually construct or draw that bridge in coming to place, you see sometimes failures happen and the bridge just divide into two. That is a human being. But when God does his thing, ah, you can't compare now. Oh, oh. When God does his thing, everything goes perfectly well. Everything comes out beautifully well. That is why it is important for you to trust God and not just trusting God halfly, trusting God in the full package. I will tell you a story as I round up. While I was looking for admission into school, I went to church one Sunday and I knew that that first year I graduated, I didn't get admission. And again, my WAEG, everything was just 
it was like it was backfiring in a good way because now i have passed that stage and i saw the faithfulness of god i can see clear from where i am now that oh it was actually god orchestrating this for me to bring out ah a very beautiful package sometimes when i'm talking like this i am imagining the things and how god what god actually did and it's amazing so i went to church one day and my pastor was preaching that trusting god you will trust god and you're having plan a plan b plan c plan d in case god did not work this plan a will work in case this thing if you're trusting god put god in that one basket let's go all out for god and when i wanted to do change of institution because first list came out second list came out and i didn't get admission i was saying that oh ah i can't deal again no it's like i will just go and do change of institution before they will not give me here and then i'll wait for another year and i went to church that sunday and that message really blessed me pastor donald okay thank you so much for that message and that message really blessed me and i went back home i was like god for this third list i'm holding your legs I am not going to change to any other institution or run away or saying that, oh, God did not remember me. On this third list, even though it's a VC's list, I would wait. I would wait and I would trust you. I waited. I trusted God and I waited. Ah, you see this kind of trust that you know that, ah, you are powerless at that situation. You cannot do it on your own. You are powerless. Like you are on the ground level. And... Even though you know you have other options, but you are totally beaten. You are totally like, I surrender all, Jesus. I surrender all. If you don't come through for me, there's nothing I would do at this point. And I trusted God. And the third list came out and my name was there. And we give glory to God. And you see, God is faithful in those situations. Sometimes we do not know the plan of God because God sees the future, the end from the beginning. He goes for toe and as in... You can't even phantom what he's trying to do or what he's about to do in your life. So do not think, do not think how he's going to do it. Just trust. You know, we all know that Abraham got Isaac at a very old age. And even when Isaac was not coming at the time he wanted, at the time he was just saying, oh, okay, and God gave him the prophecy that you are going to be the father of all nations. And Abraham waited. And the Bible says his faith did not waver. And I'm like, whoa, what manner of man? Even those years that God, after God, God, God gave prophecy a long time ago. Abraham kept waiting and waiting and waiting. He was in his 90s before, was in 90s? Yeah, 90s. He was in his late old age before um, Isaac actually came to be. And this is when God gave the prophecy long time ago. And you see, the Bible says the faith, his faith did not waver. That is trusting God. Even when you know that ah, these years are passing, are you sure it's going to be possible? This is the third list. Are you sure it's going to be possible? Today is the last day. Are you sure it's going to be possible? We have the deadline today. Are you sure it's going to be possible? Abraham's faith did not waver. Is your faith wavering? Do you have a wavering faith? I encourage you today, I acknowledge you today, I, I admonish you today to trust in the Lord with all your heart. It is worth the wait, trust me. Lean not on your own understanding. You have an understanding, God has a, his way of doing things. In all your ways, the Bible says in all, not some. In all your ways, acknowledge him and definitely he will make your path straight. And God bless you as you watch and have come to the end of this video. I pray that you will trust in the Lord and God will make everything concerning you perfect. He will bring everything to come to pass in your life. Amen and amen. I'll see you in my next live video. Do not forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the like button and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post and make sure you stay tuned for my next live video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do not miss that out.